This is part two of turning a vintage 35 millimeter camera into a digital camera so you can take ye old selfies. All right, in part two of Saving Mr. Camera, we're gonna write some code that will allow us to take pictures and upload those pictures to Dropbox. Let's get started. So I decided to use Dropbox as my picture server because of its easy to use API. But you can feel free to use Facebook or Twitter to upload your pictures to because they have APIs as well. But for the Dropbox API, you need to go to the Dropbox developer website, sign in and click to create a new non-business app that has access to a single folder. Give it a unique name and once you click next and see this page, select to generate a new key. Copy down this key because we're gonna need it for our code. And if you go to your Dropbox account, you should now see a new folder called apps and inside of it, there should be a folder with your app name. This is where the pictures are gonna be stored. With Dropbox done, let's finish up the camera. Assuming that you have the Raspbian OS installed on an SD card, an HDMI monitor and a powered USB hub plugged in with Wi-Fi, mouse, and keyboard. Let's power it on. Now that we're in, select the Wi-Fi settings and set a static IP for the Pi. Then in the Raspberry Pi configuration settings, make sure the camera is enabled for using the camera, SSH for remotely connecting to the Pi, and SPI for enabling the LCD screen. Now reboot the Pi and you can unplug the HDMI cable and USB hub, but make sure that the Wi-Fi card is now the only thing in the USB port. If you've never connected to your Raspberry Pi through SSH before, it's actually quite simple. If you have Windows, you can download PuTTY and then type in your Pi's IP address and click open. Click yes to accept the key and then log in as Pi with the password of Raspberry. If you're gonna use this in a public setting, be sure to change those credentials. All right, let's start scripting. Begin by launching the camera module using this command and the LCD module using this command where you can change the name depending on what LCD you have. This will launch them for this session, but to make sure that they launch every time we reboot, we have to add them to our modules file. So first add the SPI module followed by the camera module and then the LCD module. To specify your specific LCD module, create a new file here and add this line to it, changing the name to match your LCD type. Now before we get to the juicy programming goodness, we first have to install a couple of dependencies. The first one is called Pygame, which is a great extension for allowing us to create Python interfaces. And the second one, of course, is Dropbox, which is where we're gonna upload our pics to. At long last, let the programming begin! Let's start by creating our Dropbox upload code first. I decided to make this a separate module, so go ahead and create a new file called python underscore dropbox.py. First declare it as a Python program, and then import the required libraries that we'll be using. Let's make a function called dropbox underscore upload, and we'll send it three variables that we'll make in our primary program. Here we have a client variable that connects us to our Dropbox account. Then we'll make a try statement to see if we can connect to Dropbox. If not, then return false. Otherwise, loop through the directory where our pictures are stored, and if there are pictures, upload them to Dropbox and then return true. If you want, you can then delete the local pictures after they've been uploaded. Feel free to expand upon this basic code, but for now, go ahead and save and exit. All right, now we have a module that can upload our pictures. So now let's write our primary program that actually takes the pictures. Let's make a new file called python underscore camera dot py. Again, declare it as a Python program and then import all the libraries that we're gonna be using, including the Dropbox module that we just created. Now, in order to read the picture button, we need to set up the GPIO pins to read its state. Then we need to switch the program display to use our small LCD and then initialize Pygame, the camera, and disable the mouse. Set the size of the screen, set which camera that we're using and what resolution we want it, and then start it. 
Here's where we're gonna declare our variables. This is our Dropbox application key, and then this is the path to our picture folder. And this is the path to the Dropbox folder online. Now we can make a take picture function, and it's just gonna capture the image from the camera, save it, send a picture captured message to the screen for a couple of seconds, and then it's gonna pull up the saved picture and display it on the screen. So anytime we wanna take a picture, all we have to do is call this function. Now this is where our primary loop is gonna start. It's gonna continuously loop through any code below it. The first being the camera. We want it to take an image from the camera and display it to our LCD so that we can see what the camera's seeing. Next, we wanna check if our button has been pressed, and if it has, we can call the take picture function and set a variable called upload underscore trigger to one. This will act as a flag to tell us if there are pictures that need to be uploaded. So then for the next bit, if the upload underscore trigger variable has been flagged, we can call our Dropbox upload module, passing it the variables that we set earlier. And if the module returns true, meaning that the upload was successful, we can display a text that says uploaded to the screen and then set the upload underscore trigger value back to zero. Otherwise, we can keep the upload underscore trigger value at one. The last thing to do is to say that if there are any event errors, then just quit Pygame, stop the camera, and exit the program. Save it all, and finally we can test it out by running sudo python python underscore camera dot py. You should see the camera preview through the viewfinder and then pressing the button will take a picture and save it to Dropbox automatically assuming you have a Wi-Fi connection. And if you don't, whenever you are connected to Wi-Fi, taking another picture will trigger it to upload the pics to your Dropbox folder. And finally, if you wanna auto start your Python script when your Raspberry Pi starts up, then you wanna edit your ETC profiles file and put this at the bottom of it. Now, obviously this code is very basic. There's a lot more stuff that I would like to add and probably you would like to add. So that's why I posted it on github.com, which you can find here. So feel free to add to it, tweak it and make it better what coding is all about. What would you add or remove from this project? Please let me know in the comments below. Got any ideas you'd like me to cover next? Submit or vote for your favorites at tinkernut.com ideas. Click here to watch more videos like this. And if you got any value out of my show and like to give some value back, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, or donate at tinkernut.com donate. All right, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to tinkernut.com.